Welcome to Algebra, Special Case Trinomials, Part 1, Perfect Squares. Just as whole number values have perfect squares, like 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, and so on, so do binomials. The simplest ones are x plus 1 squared, x plus 2 squared, x plus 3 squared, and so on. The resulting trinomials for perfect square binomials follow a very predictable pattern. Look carefully at these five results. Can you see the pattern? Look at the middle term for each one. It is an x term twice the value of the constant. For the x plus 1 squared trinomial, the middle term is 2x. For x plus 2 squared, the middle term is 4x. This is a simple result of the FOIL method combining the two middle terms, but in a very predictable pattern. This continues with x plus 3 squared with a middle term of 6x, x plus 4 squared with 8x, and x plus 5 squared with 10x. Now look at the third term of each trinomial. What is the pattern there? Simple. It is the square of the constant of each binomial. 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, and so on. Here are the rest of the perfect square trinomials through x plus 10. Can you think of each one? Pause the video and work it out. All right, let's check it out. x plus 6 squared has a middle term of twice 6 and a third term of 6 squared, x squared plus 12x plus 36. The second and third terms for x plus 7 squared are 14x and 49. For x plus 8 squared, we get 16x and 64. For x plus 9 squared, the result is 18x for the middle term, twice 9. And for the third term, 81, 9 squared. And finally, x plus 10 squared doubles the 10 to get 20x for the middle term and 10 squared or 100 for the final term. Just as it was important to commit to memory the table of perfect square values, it is equally important you know as well these perfect square trinomials and be able to quickly recognize them. Let's practice. Think of the factorization for each one and see if you can predict each result. For the first one, what is half the middle term and the square root of the third term. 6, of course. The factorization is x plus 6 squared. For the next one, half of 18 is 9, which is also the square root of 81. And so x plus 9 is the square root of this one. Half of 16 is 8, also the square root of 64. And so x plus 8 is the square root binomial. Half of 2 is 1, and the square root of 1 is 1, and so x plus 1 is the answer. The next one is x plus 5, since 5 is half of 10, and the square root of 25. Next is x plus 2, then x plus 7, x plus 10, x plus 4, and x plus 3. Learn these well, and it will serve to help you with more complex perfect square trinomials. The same pattern happens when each binomial has subtraction as the operator. The middle term is an x term with twice the constant value as the coefficient, negative 2x for x minus 1, negative 4x for x minus 2, and so on, as you can see in the examples. The third term is the same, since a negative value squared is still positive. This is a logical extension of the pattern for positive value binomials. Study these carefully and follow this pattern in each example. Pause the video if you need to. Now let's look at some more complex examples. The pattern stays the same for the most part, but now the first term has a coefficient greater than 1, and so the result is slightly different. The first term squared produces the square equivalent in the trinomial. In this first example, the first term of the binomial 2x, when squared, produces 4x squared in the trinomial. The second term is twice the product of the two coefficients of the binomial, twice 2x times 3, or twice 6x, which equals 12x. The third term remains the same as before, 
the square of the constant value. 3 squared is 9 in this example. Pause the video to work out each of these examples. Here we have 3x minus 5. The square of 3x is 9 squared for the first term. Twice 3x and negative 5 is negative 30x for the middle term. And then the square of negative 5 is positive 25. The answer for 4x plus 2 squared is 16x squared plus 16x plus 4. The answer for 5x minus 9 squared is 25x squared minus 90x twice 5x times negative 9 and 9 squared or 81. This last one, 7x plus 1 squared, results in 49x squared plus 14x plus 1. Now let's reverse the process and think through factoring these more complex examples. In this first one, we recognize it is possibly a perfect square since the first and third terms are perfect squares, 4 and 9. And then think about the two square roots of 4 and 9, 2 and 3. Double the product of these values, twice 6, and see that 12 is the result. And confirm it is a perfect square trinomial. With the square root, using the two square roots 2 with the x term and 3 as the constant with a result of 2x plus 3 quantity squared. In the second example, 9 and 25 are indeed perfect squares, with 3 as the square root of 9 and the coefficient of the factored binomial. But we see that the middle term is negative, which means we must use the negative square root of 25, negative 5, as the constant. We confirm that twice the product of 3 and negative 5, 2 times negative 15, is indeed negative 30, and we find 3x minus 5 as the square root. The next example has square roots of 4 and 2, which do produce the middle term 16 when multiplied and doubled, and so the square root of this one is 4x plus 2. The fourth example square roots are 5 and negative 9, since the middle term is negative, which do indeed produce negative 90 when multiplied and doubled. And so the factorization of this trinomial is 5x minus 9. The next example has square roots of 7 and 1, which multiply to make 7, doubled to make 14. And so the factored binomial is 7x plus 1. Finally, let's consider two examples we haven't yet seen. Think about the process and come up with the solution for each. Pause the video if you need to. OK, let's see how you did. For the first one, do the square roots of 16 and 9, 4 and 3, equal 24 when multiplied and then doubled? The answer is yes, 24 being the result, and so the factored binomial is 4x plus 3. In the second one, the middle term being negative, do the square roots of 36 and 25 multiply and then double to make negative 60? The answer is yes, when you use negative 5 as the square root of 25. And so the factorization of this perfect square trinomial is 6x minus 5.